Once we are happy with our design and we're ready to stitch it out, the first thing we want to do is to be sure to save it as an EMV file. This way, if you come back later on and you want to work with the design again, you'll open up the .emv file, not your stitch file. This will be just like you were working on it before. .emv is the most pure file that you can get, and you'll have all of your settings remembered in the file when you open it up. It'll be just like you've started right where you left off. You export the design to your machine format. Your machine formats cannot retain all of the information that the .emv file can. So if you started with your machine file and opened it up, you would be starting with less than all the information that you have available to you. The software is really good. In fact, one of the best at recognizing the stitches, but it's not the same as having the pure EMV file. But more about that next time. Let's see how we save it. First of all, we're going to save it to .emv, file, save as, and it comes up, .emv. I'll just click yes because I just want to save it to the name that I have it. I've now saved it to the .emv file, so when I come back later, that's what I'm going to open up. I now want to export it. I can export it either under File, Export Design, or I can go to the Output Design Toolbox and click on Export Design. Once I click on Export Design, I will select in the Save as Type, I will select the machine file that I have, this machine format that I need. And then I will click Save. Yes, I want to replace it because I already had it there. And then you're done. You're ready to take that machine file and put it onto a USB stick, put it in your machine, and you're ready to stitch it out.